Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Zach with Learn Cybersecurity. It's been a while since I've done a video and I've been working on a few different things, but most importantly, I've been actually studying for the Ethical Hacker Pro certification from Testout. So if you guys are unfamiliar with that, I'll put a link in the description. It's not sponsored by them or anything, but I am going over their course and uh, I've been learning a few different things and uh, really just kind of honing my skills in on more things. So today's video, we're just going to talk about some reconnaissance, uh, information gathering, essentially, because I feel like this is an important uh, technical skill to learn or just a, a technical ability to learn. And with this channel, Learn Cybersecurity, it's all about learning. It's all trying to figure out new things and understand new things. And as part of, you know, the ethical hacker portion of things, the reconnaissance or information gathering um, is really important. It's really an essential kind of skill to learn or just, you know, that ability, that, that knowledge behind it. Because if you are entering any type of organization or you're looking to become a pen tester, learning how to gather the information that can ultimately help you is going to be very useful to you. So today we're talking just specifically on using a, it's not necessarily command, but using this um, technical skill, if you will, it's not still not the right wording that I want and it's kind of, I'm drawing a blank on it, so forgive me, but it's just uh, site colon, and we're going to use, um, let's use itcareerquestions.com as our resource. And we're going to go file, colon, and let's say PDF. So what this does, when you put this in your browser window, and it should work across browsers, shouldn't have too much of an issue utilizing this, site is whatever domain that you want to target. File is whatever type of file type you want to target. So... For here, this is going to scan the interwebs, uh, specifically itcareerquestions.com, for any PDFs that may be available online. Now, this is not really going to find... Now, what's important about this is this is going to be public information. This essentially is stuff that is out there left on, you know, un unlocked, uh, unprotected, and you can access it. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Now, I just tried to do this. I just edited this out, but I just tried to do this and I put a space uh, right after site colon. Uh, so a site colon space IT career questions. Uh, that was my bad. So we're going to hit enter. And now we can see here that on the IT career questions website, the only PDF file that I have openly available is this CEH exam blueprint, which is kind of ironic that uh, I'm talking about ethical hacking within this video. This was not planned at all, so it's just kind of funny. But you can change this file type. So let's say we wanted to do uh, docx, which is, you know, just a regular uh, Word document file. You could do PDF, or we didn't, you could do, uh, what is it? You could do XLS, or you could do SLSX. The point of this is, you are essentially going to try to gather information this way on open documentation that are out on these different websites. So take for instance, we could just do say .edu and we can search every .edu site for a uh, open Excel file. Now what's crucial about this, what's really important about this is that you can utilize this to gather information. Now, say for instance, a site out there or a company that you are looking to gather more information on had you know employee names in an Excel sheet. Maybe it's just their employee names, maybe they had emails associated with that, but even just the employee names is going to be greatly helpful for you. So just think, if you utilize this on a potential client or a company that you're working with, you can gather their names, we're saying, you know, that that's the case right now. Now you can figure out from there maybe what their usernames are based on maybe email addresses that are listed publicly along with this sheet that you now have. Um, maybe there's other types of information within there. Maybe it's sometimes a financial uh, information or um, types of information that specifically relate to other files that are associated with that business. Now, I'm being kind of broad ter termed here because it, there's so much that you can do with this. There's so much that you can gather from this. And maybe sometimes you won't be able to gather anything at all. 
But this is part of a series that we'll be working on, and this is the first video within that series, just gathering information. Now, we'll have more gathering information videos, um, but I think this is just kind of a great start where if you are given a company and you are looking to gather as much information as you can, this is a great way to find some of that. Now, again, we talked about employee names and things like that. Any types of information that you can gather from this can be utilized in other ways, right? Now, you can then take this information, the names that you may have gathered, and look out on LinkedIn and see what they do within this, these companies. And say you were trying to social engineer them to gather more information then. You know, finding them on social media is going to be another great resource for you because there's so much information that people share on social media, and especially LinkedIn, because then you can gather actual uh, information on what their job is, because you know, oftentimes they list who they're working for, they list some of their job duties, and as you're crafting different social engineering tactics, you can you know, then utilize that information as well, or even you know, looking them up on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, all of those different social media platforms are gonna be extremely useful for you, and we're gonna talk about those in other videos as well. But this, I think, is just kind of a great start, a quick start, because I want to start publishing more videos on this channel. So that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more. And as always, take it easy.